In a world plagued by reboots, haunted by sequels, dominated by the same old shit. Get ready for an original podcast that will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. Starring Ginger Josh, Adam the Hair, and introducing the immortal Frank. Hold on to your butts. It's the Game Rage Movies TV Podcast. Yeah, here we are. Back again. Welcome, everybody, to another fine, fine episode of the Game Rage Movies and TV Podcast. My name's Josh. I'm here today with good buddy Frank. Yo. Good buddy Ruben. Yeah. And I already said myself, good buddy Josh. Nobody cares. (laughs) Fuck off, Frank. So today, uh, real quick before we get into the pluggery, we're going to... This is going to be, obviously, if you haven't figured it out by the title, this is going to be discussing in, you know, our tribute to, you know, James Earl Jones, who recently passed away uh, a little, little couple few weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, we're just finally getting around to doing it now. But uh, still overdue, but necessary nonetheless, I felt. Um, on this, we are not going to talk about James Earl Jones and Star Wars, okay? We're not going to talk about Darth Vader at all because we already did an episode about... Darth Vader and James Earl Jones's role as such in Star Wars on Game Rage Star Wars podcast. So that's out right now. We just posted it before we were recording this one. So um, it's out. You can go listen to it if you want. If you want to hear us talk about Star Wars. So we're not going to say any Star Wars stuff today. It's all just going to be about James Earl Jones's other roles throughout his career. Um, anyways, before we get into that, if you want to listen to all our other stuff, you can go to YouTube. Game Rage Magazine. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, at Game Rage Magazine. Twitter slash X, at Game Rage Mag. You can follow Frank. If you like anime and manga, you can follow Frank on Instagram at anime underscore syndicate underscore podcast. And you can go listen to the Anime Syndicate podcast. Additionally, if you like music, you can go listen to the All Gas No Trash podcast. And you can follow Adam on Instagram at All Gas No Trash Official. All right. Now, before we get going here... Uh, we did this on the other one, so I feel it appropriate to do it on this one. You know, in honor of James Earl Jones, let's let's take a moment of silence, and we'll do that now. Okay. So, James Earl Jones, a multitude of different roles in Hollywood throughout his career. And uh, not only... What? Okay. Not only in live action, but in the animated realm as well. And stage. And stage as well, yes. Um, And And apparently he was a fucking badass. He was in the army. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was an army ranger. Yeah, that's crazy. He didn't get deployed, though. No, because he was... Uh, was it, it was after. Was it before? Was it too early? He was in, no, it was literally the Korean War bro, uh, broke out. Mm. But he got stationed to the ranger headquarters, and uh, he just got... Uh, got lucky, just, yeah, yeah, or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. Um, but anyway, his first credited film role, Dr. Strangelove, man. <laughs> Fucking, that's funny. Which is pretty funny. Uh, that was 1964. All right. Um, he started out in 1963. He was in some TV stuff um, in theater. That was where he really started out was in theater. I mean, he was in a lot of different plays and whatnot. I mean, The Merchant of Venice, uh, which is a pretty famous. He was in Othello. Um, I mean, there's a lot of. The Hunt for Red October. <laughs> the Hunt for Red October. Yeah. Uh, he, he was he was a staple in theater so back to TV or movies though when uh, he just four years after his on screen debut he was in a little movie called The Great White Hope and he was that's where he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor <laughs> which is crazy um, 
you know, he played the great. He played Malcolm X in the great, the movie The Greatest, uh, which was about Muhammad Ali. Uh, he was in. Uh, oh, he was in the uh, less less known Exorcist movie, Exorcist Two: The Heretic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, one of one of the primary roles that I initially, uh, obviously, this is not Star Wars related, but outside of that, one of the, the first roles that I really, like, remember him in was uh, Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. Uh, when he was Thulsa With Doom. those really weird fucking blue eyes. Yeah, man. Um, and then just the way they had him, like, just look was crazy. Uh, another... Another role that was really a big one for me when I was a kid was obviously in the Sandlot when he was Mr. Myrtle. Yeah. And, you know, basically the beast was the dog that was on the other side of the fucking fence. And if you hit the ball over there, then it's dead territory. Yeah, you had to just let it go. And so, like, they were so poor that they couldn't let the ball go, they had to go get the ball. And so they send Benny the Jet to go on a mission. No, he does it himself. Right. He he goes on a mission to fucking. With his radio. Was it not the, the radio? PF Flyers. PF Flyers. Yeah, yeah, he fucking gets PF Flyers on. He ties them up tight. They make which, you go so fast. Which was just what? Discount. Con- it was just bootleg Converse. Yeah. Like, that's all they were. Yeah. Um, shit, PF Flyers still exist today. Yeah, I know. I mean, they exist today as much as they did back then. Right, yeah. So. Then, essentially, uh, he goes and he, they get the ball, but then Mr. Myrtle is the guy who lives in that house. Mm-hmm. And he is, like, the biggest asshole, or he's at least thought of by the children as the biggest asshole. Because he had an asshole dog. Yeah, he had an asshole dog, the Beast. But in the end, it turns out that everybody loves the Beast, and the Beast is just so nice, and everybody's the greatest. Man, that was the first time I saw real dog balls, like... Oh, uh, yeah. In a movie, like, like, for real. Like, <laughs> as he's flying over and they got that back shot, you just see his giant fucking balls, dude. Like, <laughs> the the dog had these, like, I do this. <laughs> I don't even understand how large a dog's balls could be. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, that is humongous. Um, another role that he was in, I, I, you know, Field of Dreams. He was in Field of Dreams. Um, Coming to America, he was the king of whatever the country was. Um, he was in the uh, uh, Clear and Present uh, Present Danger. Yeah, Clear and Present Danger with um, um, Harrison Ford. Yeah, Harrison Ford, which was one of the uh, Tom Clancy, like the Jack Ryan, the original Jack Ryan, yeah. like movies. Uh, I never saw it. I heard it sucked. Clear and Present Danger and Patriot Games. Man, see, yeah, like they, it, eh, they were. I have not seen them in a very long time. I know Patriots game was like one of those movies that everybody says, oh, if you like military movies, you have to watch it. Like, I I remember liking the movie, but Mm -hmm. I haven't watched it in probably 20 years. So, like, maybe that, you know what? That's what we should do here. We should do, we should watch fucking Patriot games and the original, like, Jack Ryan series. Obviously, The Hunt for Red October is in in, in that as well, so we could do that. But, uh, okay, that that one was a great movie. That one was a great movie, but, like, um, it wasn't because of James Earl Jones. I think that one... That, that one was all Connery, Connery and fucking... Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Alec Baldwin. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Alec Baldwin was Jack Ryan in those, that, that movie. Uh, shit, even The Sum of All Fears with Ben Affleck and uh, I think Samuel Jackson was in it. That was another Tom Clancy movie. It was a was, Jack Ryan movie. I enjoyed sorry, that movie too. I, thought, I don't know why, but I, I, I was thinking of another one, um, Tears of Fear. Oh, yeah. With uh, Bruce Willis. Yeah, yeah. Was or it? Tears of the Sun. Tears of the Sun, yeah. That was a good movie too. I never um, saw it. But never saw it. Oh yeah, it was good. We should watch. We should fuck. There's a lot of good war movies we should watch. Mm. To fucking do. What's your favorite of uh, war movie? War movie, like modern war movie. I just said war movies, motherfucker. <sighs> fucking stop, stop the Patriot fans. starring Mel Gibson, man. That's that's like because it's a revolutionary. Oh, uh, did war. you see uh, Fat Electrician's new video? Nah. Um, because Mel- especially <laughs> in terms of this. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're sued. <laughs> Um, uh, Mel Gibson's character well, I can't remember his name uh-huh. Is based off of five real people Okay Oh does he break it down Who it is No he, he he does it on one person Oh okay um, On this motherfucker Is like I was trying to see What his name was uh, Fat Electrician I don't know I guess it's not really Like a straight war movie though It kind it, <sighs> Cause there's it a lot counts. of There's a lot of narrative um, uh, Daniel Morgan Oh okay Yeah 
Um, but for me, uh, I don't know if you if you saw this is a little tangent, but fuck it, it's movies and TV, so it's relevant. Um, Forty Eight Hours, the Benghazi story. Yeah, I saw that, that movie's fucking great. It's good for what essentially was a Netflix movie. Right? Yeah, it was good. Though. It was good though. It I enjoyed was it better than what I was expecting. But if we're talking like big budget, like legit movies, it's tied between Black Hawk Down and fucking uh, Saving Private Ryan. Like as far as like top top war movies, really not nineteen twelve. What's 1912? Oh, not 1912. Um, the one with World War I. Uh, the one that, what's his name, Nolan did recently. Oh, uh, not Dunkirk. It was that. Uh, yeah. I forget what the fuck it was called. Was it in 1912? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it was 1918. 1918, that's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I don't even know if I've seen that one. Is that the one where they got to get a message across or yeah. something like that? It's Maybe the one that has that really... No, 1918 came out in like 85. Oh. Oh, yeah, 1917, yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. That's the one 1917, with the, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's the one with uh, um, Doctor Strange. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. That's the one that has that one scene where it's like, all right, guys, all our money is in all these explosions and shit. We cannot do yeah. a second scene. Yeah, we can't do this twice. Like, so don't fuck it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, um, but, what's your favorite war movie? Honestly? It's uh, We Were Soldiers. Oh, man, that is a good one, too. That one's up there. That's in top. That's top five for sure for me. Because not only was it a good war movie, but it was a good, like, the effect it's having on the people back home movie. Yeah, that's true. What about you, Ruben? What's your favorite war movie while we're on the subject? Favorite war movie? Ugh. I gotta, I gotta try to remember which ones I've seen. All right, while you're thinking about that, we'll yeah. go back to James yeah, Earl Jones. Yeah, give me some time. <laughs> All right, while we're thinking about that, we'll go back to James Earl Jones. Uh, he was also in Naked Gun uh, 33 yeah. plus the third. 33 one third. The final, the final yeah. one. Um, and he played. He was just a cameo role, though. Yeah. But, like, I mean, he was still in it. Uh, obviously, the Lion King, I mean, being the Mufasa. voice of Mufasa is, I mean, that that's an iconic role. Well, remember man. Epic Rap Battles history? Roar like Chewbacca, the voice of Mufasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he was, yeah, yeah, that, that was a good one. Um. Oh, you know what? He did the uh, he did the CNN voiceover for. Oh, yeah, a while. that's right. This is, is CNN. CNN. Yeah, man. Well, don't you remember? Oh, you don't watch The Simpsons, but there's a scene where um, Bleeding Gums Murphy dies. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Who's like Lisa's mentor uh-huh. for saxophone? Uh huh. And like she does this whole thing for him, and like he comes back into the cloud. Uh, in the sky and he's talking to her he's like wait uh, I forgot what he was talking to and then you see Darth Vader Luke I am your father as a cloud next to him go Simba and then next to him it's like it was like James Earl Jones and yeah, then yeah. the last one was this is CNN <laughs> <laughs> that's funny let me find that um, then he was in Click he was in Click yeah ah that movie was alright scary movie 4 um mm. That wasn't the best one of those. No, but I mean, like you know, he was he was the narrator of that. Um, oh, driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, obviously, you know the Lion King live action movie. He voiced Mufasa, and uh, basically his final movie role was. Oh, yeah, I think I found it. That was for you, bleeding gums. Man. You must avenge my death, Kimba. I mean, Kimba. <laughs> I am your father. This is CNN. <laughs> you guys pipe down and say goodbye to Lisa. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> I thought was, you ever seen that controversy? Uh uh-uh. Lion King was completely stolen from a Japanese movie. Which one? The Kimba, Lion King? Kimba oh. the White Lion. Oh. And <laughs> man, they just changed one letter. <laughs> Pretty much. They. The story was almost like I think Disney changed it enough to be legally discerned, but it was like, but it's like it's one of those ones where it's, it's obvious. Like, yeah, you stole this shit, motherfucker. That was back when they were doing that, and nobody was gonna do anything about it though. Mm-hmm. Like, so um, also the the last film role that he was in was the sequel to Coming to America, Coming to America, to too. America. yeah, and uh, that was the last film role that he was ever. That he was in before he fully retired. Retired. Um, TV. I, I mean, he was in a lot, I mean, of, shit. Was a lot of shit. He was obviously he was on The Simpsons, uh, as we just heard. 
He was in. Uh, Dude, I fucking he had this cameo in uh, Big The Big Bang Theory. Yeah, uh-huh. it was so fucking. It was great. Yeah. Oh, he was in Roots. Um, he was in the old Jesus of Nazareth show. Just shut me up like that. All right. <laughs> Wait, sorry. What? No, no, no. no, you said he was in. Well, I didn't know you were gonna go into it. You were talking about it. And we just watched it. That was The Simpsons. Oh. Oh, The Big Bang Theory. Oh yeah, because he played himself, right? Mm-hmm. Find that one. It's like twenty minutes long. Oh, never mind. Well, anyways, what were you gonna say? That's fine. Moments, moments gone. All right. Uh, apparently, in another movie that James Earl Jones that I didn't even realize he was in it was something called The Flight of Dragons, which is a movie I haven't seen in years. The what? It's called The Flight of Dragons. It was like a childhood movie that I used to watch a few times, I think. It was like, I think if I remember correctly, I think a, a boy was like playing like some sort of like D&D kind of, like kind of oh, game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember seeing this movie. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> I forgot how. It was like that. straight 70s style, too. Yeah. Legitimate. Yeah, because I completely forgot about the movie until I was just searching out, like, since we were talking about talking about him, like, oh, shit, I remember this movie. And I was like, damn. Yeah, I remember it was based off a book called The Dragon and George and the Gorge. <laughs> and the George, yeah. Dragon and the Gorge? George. <laughs> Curious. It's on Apple TV. Oh, huh? well, let's check it out. Yeah, I'm good. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Anyway. Anyways, uh, back on uh, to the TV stuff. Uh, I think he was actually in. Uh, I want to say he was in Stargate. I feel like. I don't think he was. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. There it is. Stargate SG One. He was Unas in the episode Thor's Hammer. Oh, he was the he, the voice probably. Voice, it was probably yeah. like a voice. I mean, they've had a lot of weird people on there. Wayne Brady was on there once. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't I didn't remember this. You remember Recess? Yeah. The cartoon? Yeah. He played Santa Claus in that, apparently. I don't even remember that. I don't remember that either, but, man, that's pretty crazy. Oh, uh, damn. One of my favorite movies just came up. Which one? <laughs> the Secret of Nymph. The Secret of who? Nymph. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember that movie. It's like one of my favorite movies. Oh, he was in your, <laughs> your favorite show, House? Yeah, I remember that. He was... Uh, African dictator. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, the, the ball of the episode titled "The Tyrant." <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sequel was a was a good movie. Yeah, I remember the, the, I remember that one. I think we still got it. Dude, anything that Don Bluth is in, I mean, sorry, anything that Don Bluth makes is gonna be fucking great. I mean, I know this is about James Earl Jones, but this man never gets his flowers. Yeah. Just to like read off his list: The Secret of Nymph, All Dogs Go to Heaven. An American Tale. Oh, man. The That's Land Before movie. Time. God, such great, great movies. Anastasia. Oh, That's man. a good one. That's a good Rock one, Rock-a-doodle. That's another good one. Uh, Titan A.E., which oh. is an underrated fucking Dude, movie. it is. Yeah, Even though it's like movie. fucking, uh, it's peak fucking uh, Scientology uh, fucking, uh, John, uh, what's his name? Uh, John Hubble or something like that? No. Uh, God damn it. Elrod? Elrod? Elrod, yeah. yeah. Like, no, it's, uh, what's his name's in it, though? Uh uh, Do you remember the um, animal Robin Hood animated movie? Oh yeah, that was him. Oh yeah, that, that one was amazing. That was a good one too. That's like one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, he, I don't think he was in charge of it, but he was also a big hand Pete's Dragon. Oh, I the remember original Pete's one. Dragon, yeah. I never seen there was one. I only saw, I only saw good old Ginger. One. Good old fellow Ginger kid. Uh, you probably don't know it, but there was this old arcade game. Uh, it was called uh, Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer? Lair. Dragon's Lair? Yeah. Oh, I never played it. I don't know um, It's the one that we can, like, do just like, quick error choices. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. It's all it is is quick time. It's literally just a movie. Oh, okay. You're, you just do quick, quick time? time? Yeah. yeah, all right. Um, it was that one and Space Ace. Mm, I remember Space Ace. Yeah, so he did both of those. Damn, that's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm like, I'm like, because it came, uh, Secret Nip came up in this whole thing I'm looking up. Uh-huh. I was like, oh shit, did James Earl Jones in it? Well, no. <laughs> but Breath of Hitman Heart was in it. Oh, that's funny. No, he wasn't. <laughs> just, just trying to get a rise out of you. Uh, I fucking hate that guy. Right? <laughs> what? You hate, br- you, you, I, he has worn his out. You can listen to Game Rage Wrestling if you want to hear me talk shit about Bret Hart. He's worn his welcome out. I used to like Bret Hart. The confirmed sexual rapist. Hasn't worn out his walking with you, but Brett the Hitman Heart has. That's correct. Jesus Christ. Vince McMahon. Okay, listen. I'm not talking about Vince McMahon. What are you talking about? Hogan. 
Oh no, I'm done with Hogan too. He can go fuck himself as well. I already said that. Like, we did. We're talking about that Vince McMahon documentary on wrestling, so you can hear me talk all shit about that. Uh, fuck Hogan too. He's an asshole. Um. Anyways. Yeah. You. Yet who? Yeah. You spend so much fucking time talking shit on John Cena. Oh, yeah. Fuck John Cena. He's a show for the Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Who is it? Who is it, Josh? I'm not. You have a podcast, Josh. That means you work for the media. Of course, you are a Chinese shill. <laughs> but it's different. I don't work for the media when I am the. Me- I am the Senate. <laughs> I am still, the media. Still a Chinese shill. How? No one's paying. The Chinese aren't paying me. Because Listen, at least if I'm going to shill, I might as well get paid. So it's okay as long as you get paid. No, I'm just saying if, the, if you're going to call me a shill, okay then I should be getting paid by the Chinese. So as long as you're getting paid, it's okay. No, I didn't say that was okay. I just That's said I might as well be getting paid then if That's you're going to call you me applied. a shill. That's what a shill is. It's someone who gets paid to fucking... Well, whatever. Anyways, we're going off topic here. Uh, Everyone's a Chinese shill. Not me. Not I. Not I, sir. Not I said the fly. By Jeff Goldblum. All I want to say is anybody that works for the... Anybody that works for the government is a show. Eh. I don't know if that's... Sorry. Anybody that works for a billion dollar entity is a show. Eh. Anybody who works for not themselves is a shill. Uh, I'm talking Chinese shill. In, in oh, general. just Chinese shill. Yes. So if you're if you're part of a billion dollar entity, yes, you are part of the shill. I guess we're all billion. I guess we're all shills then. Yeah, all three of us are. Right? Yep, we're all fucking shills. <laughs> Anyways, back to James Earl Jones. I mean, the dude had. Oh yeah, that's right. I also forgot that he was in Command and Conquer, Tiberian Sun. He played one of the generals, uh, General James Solomon, in the in the Did live he, action cutscenes. Was cut he scenes. in a lot of video games? Uh, not 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 really. Uh, he was in. Uh, Tex Murphy under a killing moon, which it says is is a he was great PI of the universe. So I'm assuming he was the disembodied voice. And then he was in that one. The Lion King, Simba's Mighty Adventure, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. Those are all the credits that it has listed on here in uh, on the Wikipedia. It was also in a Disney game. Which one? Uh, Disney's The Lion King, Simba's Mighty Adventure. Yeah, I just I literally just said that. I know that's what I'm saying. Oh. Which uh, is funny because what this came it's out funny. in 2000, in a, right? Like, dude, oh, he was in a bunch of theme park attractions. He was in a bunch of like you know voices for the theme parks. Yeah, yeah. It was all for Mufasa, none that's for Star Wars. No, I do. I well, I know we were going to talk about it, but I will say he was Darth Vader in the uh, what you call it ride, the Star Wars. Recorded this, huh? Recorded this. No, it says I remember him being in the Star Tours, and I'm pretty sure I read it right here. Uh, let's see, where was it? What did they count it under? I don't know what they counted under. Maybe it was under film. Uh, let's see, Star Tours: The Adventure Continues. Yeah, they attracted at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disneyland, and Tokyo Land. Yeah, it says James Earl Jones. Star Tours: Darth Vader voice role in the short film. Of Star Tours. Mm, I guess that one just didn't list them. Yeah, that's weird. Like your face. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, uh, you got anything else to add? You a bitch? Yeah, true. Ruben, did you figure out what your favorite war movie is, you son of a bitch? Still fucking... It's 20 minutes later. I'm still thinking. We're still still waiting. Uh, I forgot the name, but the only one I can think about is with the, the guy who doesn't who doesn't want to kill anybody, just, just keeps saving everybody. Oh, oh. that movie. Hacksaw, Hacksaw Ridge? Ridge? That movie that sucks ass. No, it I hate that movie. You're so full of shit. No, that movie sucks. You're sucks. full of shit. You're full of shit. You know it. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm just. I'm trying to be inflammatory, Frank. Just fuck off. <laughs> no, because I know you're full of shit. Because you said you love that movie. I too. did. It's a great movie, but I just feel like fucking around being inflammatory to Ruben. So <laughs> it pissed me off. It took so long. You know what's funny? Andy couldn't even remember the name of the goddamn movie. <laughs> I don't watch. I don't watch a lot of war movies. <laughs> to be fair, it's a movie that sounds like it's a musical. It does. Hacksaw Ridge, <laughs> the musical. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, Dude, Joker, Joker okay. too. Ha- yeah. Right. Basically, Hacksaw Ridge, the musical, is a musical about a guy who is a serial killer and. He uses a hacksaw to kill people with. No, it does sound like like you like like a, like a city name like like. Oh, oh yeah, we it's found like love at, at Hacksaw Ridge. Ridge. Yeah, nineteen. It's like <laughs> yeah. a nineteen fifties. It's like Greece, yeah. but like uh, it's Hacksaw Ridge is what it's called. Or what's that one movie with the the one musical with Clint Eastwood? No, 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 no. The movie that Clint Eastwood did, that sounds like a love movie, but it's a war movie. Where he's training the soldier, the marine to oh, be marines. Um, God damn, I love that movie too. Uh, Heartbreak. Uh, Heartbreak Ridge. Heartbreak, or is it Heartbreak Ridge? Yeah, I think it is Heartbreak Ridge. Yeah. I was gonna say, you see yeah. what I mean? It sounds like, again. <laughs> it sounds like so a fucking musical. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. But he was in a musical, uh, Paint, this, Paint My Wagon or whatever it was called. Yeah. Spray Me With Your Jizz Daddy. That was a musical. <laughs> no, it was like Paint My Wagon or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and now he's just crazy. Makes and racist, has, crazy and racist movies. <laughs> no, he's crazy and just makes, and uh, he's just like, uh, it's, yeah. Uh, He's crazy and has imaginary debates with people who aren't there. Ah, oh, that's pretty if classic. You see, if you've seen the, uh, the Republican, that time he spoke at the Republican National Convention, <laughs> yeah. he had the debate with Obama. Yeah, who that's was, pretty funny. Wasn't even there. <laughs> Anyways, all right, well, that'll do it for us. Go to Game Rage Magazine on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe. Instagram and TikTok at Game Rage Magazine. Twitter slash X at Game Rage Mag. You can follow Frank at Anime underscore Syndicate underscore Podcast on Instagram. And you can follow Adam at All Gas No Trash Official on Instagram as well. Catch you guys on the next one. Oh, hey there, buddy. It's me, 1930s announcer guy. Here to congratulate you on making it through this episode. As our heroes are getting in their jalopies and riding off into the literal sunset, they wanted me to tell you thanks for listening to their radio broadcast, and should you be so kind as to follow them on some fancy schmancy radio station publication called Instagram and TikTok at Game Range Magazine, and on some other thing called Twitter slash X at Game Range Mag. Also, they uh, wanted me to inform you and ask if you could be so kind again as to uh, visit something called the website at www.gameragemagazine.com. Uh, I don't know what that is, buddy, but uh, you should probably go do those things. And, you know, don't forget to tune in next time to the Game Rage Movies and TV Radio Broadcast. <laughs> <laughs>